What are some NSFW history facts that do not get taught in schools? The actual death of Ratcliffe you know. The oddly proportioned villain from Pocahontas. From the Encyclopedia Virginia. The colonists, led by Captain John Ratcliffe, walked into an ambush about 33 men, or two-thirds of their number, were killed. The Indians captured Ratcliffe, and their women skinned him alive using mussel shells. Encyclopedia Virginia Link. Every year, it was the pharaoh's solemn duty to go to the banks of the Nile, disrobe, and masturbate. A great many other men would follow him, and when the pharaoh was done, they too would bash one out on the banks. Further, it was believed that the pharaoh had to be sure that as great an amount of his gentlemen as relish as possible landed in the river itself, rather than on the land, in order to guarantee a good future harvest. Peter the Great scoured the Russian Empire in search of dwarfs and giants in an effort to breed a race of each. While he could not find enough giants he found many dwarfs. He would bake a huge pie and have a dwarf get naked and wait inside it to jump out and scare guests. In addition to using them as regular stewards and servants and such. That was the tip of Peter's crazy. He also liked dentistry so much he would make courtiers let him pull their healthy teeth. Then he would label them and put them in a display case. He had a museum of birth defects. Mostly the bodies of deformed babies killed by their parents at birth. The curator of his museum was a giant. After the giant died, Peter put his body in the museum. He thought coffins were so cool that he made them for fun. And legalized burying people in bags as Russians had done. In short, Peter the Great is one of my favorite historical figures. Back in the day pre-revolutionary times also one of the only things that women in the English colonies were allowed to have expertise on was the female body reproductive system. Occasionally, a case would come up in court that required the inspection of a woman's body. Usually it would be to determine if she had been raped or otherwise had sex out of wedlock. But to handle these sorts of cases, the court would convene a jury of women from a nearby town to perform the inspection and report their findings. In one particular case though, a married woman was petitioning for the annulment of her marriage on the basis that her husband was impotent. To test these claims, the court convened a jury of women tasked solely with attempting to bring the woman's husband to erection. The article did not mention the result of this case, but this remains one of very few cases that a jury of women was convened in a court of law for any purpose besides their expertise in women's bodies. Edit I. For one. Like to think he was playing the long con the whole time. John F. Kennedy was dating Miss Denmark in the 1940s. And when they stayed at Sumter House in Charleston the FBI bugged their room. Because they thought she may be an artsy spy. Turns out they did not hear a lot of conversation. But instead a lot of NSFW time. Tapes are in the Library of Congress for those interested. John F. Kennedy was dating Miss Denmark. Wow. Just looked her up. The reason the FBI thought she was an artsy spy was that she was Adolf Hitler's companion during the 1936 Summer Olympics. The Mayans were not very good at making alcohol. It tasted bad, so they would give themselves enemas of it, so they would not have to drink it. They also used mixtures of psychoactive plants. A lot of art depicts it. Link. And a credible source. Link. John Harvey Kellogg one of the Kellogg brothers who invented breakfast cereal, advocated for sewing silver wire through boys foreskin to prevent them from masturbating. Strange fellow. He also was super into shitting. Like. He invented cereal and other foods, so it would give a workout to your colon. And he made a chair that supposedly shook and made you shit yourself. And. He had a sanatorium that famous people such as President Taft went to and the residents there got three enemas a day. It was a sort of cult almost. When Mary Antoinette was imprisoned by the French citizens, they took her kids. Then they had her oldest son raped by prostitutes so that he would contract their STDs. They then tried to use this as grounds to try her for abusing her children. The accusations went nowhere, so the poor kid was given a ton of venereal diseases for nothing. Edit spelled Mary Antoinette's name wrong. Edit to holy duck. So many upvotes. Also to those who are asking my source. I read it on Wikipedia. I went back to try and get a more detailed source. 
Wikipedia S source was. Nigel. Susan 2009. Mary THRSE The Fate of Mary and Toynette S Daughter. London Bloomsbury Publishing. P. 137 ISBN 978 0 74 75 96 66 0. Hope this helps anybody who is curious. In 1928 the United Fruit Company Fruit Company from Louisiana had banana plantation in Columbia and the workers organized a strike against them. They demanded written contracts. 8 hour work days. 6 day work weeks and the elimination of food coupons. The strike was one of the biggest strikes in Colombian history. And many communistic and liberal parties participated. US. Officials in Colombia, along with United Fruit representatives, portrayed the work arrest strike as communist with subversive tendency. In telegrams to the US. Secretary of the government. The United States of America threatened to invade with the US. Marine Corps if the Colombian government did not act to protect United Fruit's interests. An unknown number of workers died after the conservative government of Miguel Mendes sent the Colombian army to end the union. An army regiment from Bogot was dispatched by the government to deal with the strikers, which are deemed to be subversive. Whether these troops were sent in at the behest of the United Fruit Company did not clearly emerge. The troops set up their machine guns on the roofs of the low buildings at the corners of the main square closed off the access streets, and after a five-minute warning opened fire into a dense Sunday crowd of workers and their wives and children who had gathered, after Sunday mass, to wait for an anticipated address from the governor, General Cortes Vargas, who commanded the troops during the massacre, took responsibility for 47 casualties. In reality, the exact number of casualties has never been confirmed. Harrisotto co-author of a comprehensive and detailed study of the 1928 strike, has put together various estimates given by contemporaries and historians, ranging from 47 to as high as 2,000. Survivors, popular oral histories, and written documents give figures 800, 3,000 killed, adding that the killers threw them into the sea. Source link. The dresses and corsets worn by women in the court of King Louis XIV were so cumbersome and difficult to get out of that women would often take a dump in the hallways of the Versailles Palace during grand balls. The morning after the corners of hallway in the palace would have piles of shit stacked up that the servants would have to clean up. True. I imagine it was a terribly stinky place with all of the urine and fesses of the people and of the dogs underfoot. Couple that with poor dental hygiene and minimum bathing efforts I doubt many of us would be able to handle the stench. My high school history teacher asked us once, if you had a time machine and transported back to the middle ages, what is the first thing you would do? And everyone was like go see a castle, ride a horse carriage, meet a king, whatever. And he said, nope. You had throw up. Benjamin Franklin published an essay entitled, Fart Proudly Link a Tongue in Cheek Treat is Promoting the Health Benefits of Farting, and How to Make Farts Smell Better in 1781, while he was the US Ambassador in France. He was also a MILF hunter and once wrote on the advantages of sex with older women. Link. Anyone who has played ACIE knows what is up. Or watch the John Adams miniseries. That was the day I learned that being Congress ambassador to the French court banging all the courtesans. All of them. Thomas Granger was the first juvenile to be executed in what would become the USA. He was convicted of buggery with a mare, a cow, two goats, several sheep, two calves, and a turkey, and hung in September. 1642 edit thank you everyone for educating me about the difference between hung and hanged. I will never get the image of horse stick out of my head now. Edit the second gilded for talking about animal buggery. What a world we live in. The first use of legalized prostitution in the United States was in Nashville. TN after it was occupied by the Union Army. Rates of STDs dramatically decreased after the new regulations were implemented. That is kind of always been the case. The transfer of STDs goes down dramatically when you legalize and regulate prostitution, primarily because giving people diseases is bad for business.